What's going on guys? To Intuitive 717 I am back with another reading, hanging out with the bossy beeves in a basket. I'm going to share a collective reading around the Divine Masculine Energy. It has to do with a song synchronicity I received. Um, I believe it's called Into Your Arms by Ava Max. Okay, um, and the energy I'm getting is someone feels lost without your touch or they need your physical touch. Okay, I'm also hearing just cl the, the closeness being next to you okay being physically next to you okay so let's go ahead and dive in and see what's on your masculine's mind when it comes to this connection i can't make it a physical connection okay because <laughs> it's that physical touch that i feel like they are longing for okay so two bodies becoming one which we all know what that means um, but this is definitely somebody that is craving you, okay? So because this, um, is, sorry, because this card is coming out, I feel like that song synchronicity is going to be really important for some of you. You might end up listening to the song and you might be like, damn, I, I've, I've heard this playing or, or you will start hearing it playing after listening. And that's how you know it's maybe a synchronicity that, you know, this person is craving you. They crave the way you smell. They crave the way your lips feel against theirs. Um, there's something too about, like, I feel like this is a masculine energy who's not used to like making love. I know it sounds cliche, but that's just what I'm getting. It's like they've been in connections before or in the past where I feel like the intimacy or like just, you know, the sex, it, that's, that's all it is. But with you, I feel like they were missing that slowed down intimacy, looking into each other's eyes and like savoring every aspect of it, okay? Um, this is a masculine who just really gets lost in the moment. Like I am seeing somebody who loses their breath or feels like their heart beats really fast when they're in your presence. This could also be a divine masculine who realizes that after being intimate with you, it's not going to be the same with anybody else. And now that you guys are at a distance, I feel like that really stands out. Okay, the energy could be really stagnant right now. If they're with a karmic partner, that is fizzling out very, very quickly. Um, I feel like your masculine may find themselves wanting different things since connecting with you intimately. Some of your energy could be quite alive within your divine masculine since becoming intimate with you where they find themselves very very drawn to you wanting the same things that you do you know all of a sudden your masculine might have feelings of just wanting to cuddle on the couch with you right it's no more of this kind of boredom or stagnant energy sitting around you know sitting on your phone while you're next to each other in bed when you should be you know tearing each other's clothes off I feel like they think that that's what it would be like with you and then they're here sitting in some kind of mundane connection that they're in and it really feels like they may be outgrowing it or at this time it's just not what they want okay so we do have life partner I feel like they see you as the one they miss that passion and it, like this is a confirmation for many of you but that's what it's like behind closed doors if your masculine is with a karmic partner or if they're single and they just prefer to be on their own it doesn't feel anything like this okay i feel like only with you that's what it feels like but with everybody else it kind of feels like just very casual okay um wanting to go the distance is the card in this life partner message what else is coming out to support that? We have holiday. Okay, an interesting card about holiday is because I am getting like a lot of your masculines get really overwhelmed with your energy, okay? But you two may have not spent enough time alone together and that's something that kind of weighs on their mind is that, you know, they wonder if that passion is, is, is going to be long lasting in a sense, okay? So somebody could be really wanting physical touch with you, but they don't want... I feel like they don't want to meet you where you are. They want to be in a different environment, okay? Something about time alone with you is really, really important for this person. For you both to be in a different setting, um, some kind of holiday setting is really important to them. I'm getting it's because they don't want to run into anybody that you know. They want to completely have you all to themselves. I feel like they may be more comfortable in settings where they know that they're not going to bump into or run into anybody, okay? So vacation time or holiday time could be something that is really significant here. It could be something that they're really fantasizing about as well. So if 
they do have the courage to communicate with you. I feel like this could be part of the discussion or it's something that always comes up in terms of, you know, would it be possible for us to travel together? Would it be possible for us to spend time alone together? Okay. Somebody that is really, really missing your touch, the intimacy. Okay. So this could be a strong message for those of you on this whole twin flame journey body mind and soul okay so that means i feel like it confirms this this whole energy of like it's just not the same with anybody else okay for those of you i feel like a lot of your masculines could be taking this whole twin flame connection a lot more seriously they may not resonate with the word twin flame but for them it feels like how it'll resonate for them is like the one or that one like there's something about that one okay there's something about the word one or if you guys are seeing one 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 or eleven eleven a lot i feel like it represents this focus on specifically the divine feminine their counterpart somebody that they feel this invisible connection to body mind and soul that they don't feel with anybody else it doesn't matter what obstacles lie in the way between the two of you i feel like nothing is standing in the way of this masculine feeling like I want to pursue this okay but guys i will say again something very significant about needing to spend time alone with you is really important and when i talk about they don't want to run into anybody they know i also feel like spending time alone with you away from influences okay this could be family friends like you know when you you're with somebody and then all of a sudden you can't help but start discussing the connection with other people whether this be like close family like your girlfriends and then they just tend to influence your behavior with this person or if you share with them something that this person said they might share their two cents on it that's what i feel like your masculine doesn't want they want you to to connect intimately romantically with nobody else around this is this has a lot to do with like bonding maybe falling in love falling in love with one another versus you know falling in love with one another and like everybody else's opinions or input or their ideas about you two connecting what this could mean what that can mean i feel like this masculine is really really protective of this connection it's like you two have some kind of spiritual marriage that's been ignited okay they don't know why they feel this way about you but they do okay and that's why i feel like it's very significant for them to spend time alone with you okay because life partner twin flame and marriage all coming up in one reading i feel it represents a masculine here who feels really sure about you at this time okay and it's that longing or that separation that's really triggering this desire to connect with you and again i'm hearing alone okay they need to express themselves in a certain way or they need to tell you certain things about themselves or even share intimate aspects of themselves and nobody else needs to know right now or nobody else needs to know what's going on in this connection except you two okay so they could fantasize a lot about being on vacation with you okay a very private vacation as well very intimate like not running into a lot of people it's just kind of the vibe of you two being you know on this kind of getaway um is what i'm getting guys i'm i'm like touching my skin and my lips so i feel like a lot of your masculines could feel very intimate very romantic right now i feel like a lot of that could be lingering towards many of you if you're feeling you know their energy very strongly a lot of flashes around intimacy or i'm getting a lot of shower sex so if a lot of you have been having flashes around that or like um visions around that or just intimate moments period with your masculine um i do feel like that is something that is weighing heavy on their mind at this time okay it's kind of like make love now and then talk later type of thing pillow talk um somebody really needing to get out their frustration from not seeing you for for a while okay i feel like the separation if it's really brought up one thing it's that they don't want to be away from you this long ever again like when you two do connect i feel like it's going to be filled with a lot of passion right now you know somebody's loving on themselves okay in the separation that's probably what's making you so romantically attractive or making them feel like they're falling even more in love with you um i don't know if many of you are you know like it's like you've been through the separation with them and it's you go through a period of hermiting and then it's time to re-emerge or just move forward and live your life i feel like a lot of the feminines you're doing that like you're just on the scene again and many of them could be seeing updated pictures of you um, it's really bringing about some kind of new commitment 
is what I'm getting. I feel like with the self-love as well, a lot of you in the feminine energy, you're just moving in a way that's really healthy. Like you're open, you're sending off a vibe of like just maturity, right? Like water under the bridge. Um, I feel like you didn't stay stuck in heartbreak. Like if many of your masculines chose another path, a lot of you just, you just allowed it. It is what it is. Life flows, you know, things move forward, things move on. You know, obladi, oblada, life goes on. <laughs> um i feel like many of you are sending that vibe off and it's making them curious it's kind of turning that tables on them and they see you as a divine feminine energy of substance as well i feel like you challenge this masculine in ways that make them want to like like i don't know it's like settled i don't want to say settle down but it's it's like submit to this idea of of being tamed and i feel like that's something foreign to them, but they can't help but feel that with you. They didn't expect that they were going to feel that way, okay? This could be a masculine who they kind of move like this lone wolf energy, okay? Very confident about not needing that feminine energy in their life. Um, very sure that they don't need to be married. They don't need a life partner. Um, they're good, just kind of being on their own. But then there's you, and I feel like after this physical touch or after this intimate moment, they can't help but feel the it's like the pull to want to experience that in this lifetime okay they they haven't met anybody up until this point until uh, until meeting you that now it feels like i want to experience that i want to know what that's like i want to know what it's like to come home to this divine feminine energy i want to know what it's like to, to commit myself because guys there's something about the intimacy here that this masculine experiences with you and I feel like because they've never experienced it before, whether you know it or not, that moment or that night or during the day, whenever it was that you two had this physical encounter, two bodies becoming one, it really, whether you know it or not, Divine Feminine, it, it was an experience that your masculine has never had before, okay? Twin flame connection, body, mind, and soul, making love to somebody that you are in love with like from head to toe and just feeling the safety of feeling in love with another person making love to you or making love to you back or back to you <laughs> and they feel the exact same way i feel like that is what you two experience that your masculines they can't shake it right they can't shake it and i feel like they just want more and more of that Let's get a message from the Romance Angels for some outcome cards, okay? What can you two expect? Because I feel a lot of whimsical fantasy energy about this. Um, what can you two expect? Okay, so we have codependency. Many of you masculines could be working on healing codependency. I feel like you could be working on healing codependency as well, which is why maybe the separation had to happen. Um, because the reading... <laughs> Had such an intimate vibe to it i'm gonna say even codependency on each other in like a sexual way okay so many of you realizing that it does get hot and heavy very quickly so the distance i feel was a part of picking apart you know why it was so passionate i feel like many of your masculines are realizing that you know they did become codependent on connecting with you only in this way because i feel like they don't really know what intimacy was. They, they haven't had a lot of connections where they've expressed to a lot of feminine energies in their life about feelings and emotions and falling in love and feeling in love, right? For them, it's just the act of that and that's it. But when the experience is with you, I feel like, you know, there yes it was really really intense and it just seemed as though that was all it was about, but I feel like it was opening up the masculine's eyes in terms of maybe their codependency on it in the past and this is what has been healing in the background i feel like a lot of your masculines may not even be able to connect with other people since being with you intimately that's why they're craving your physical touch so bad this could be a masculine who's been celibate since they've been with you okay um and if it's not celibate and they have been and casual encounters since they've been with you and you guys have been at a distance and maybe they've you know engaged in other encounters i'm hearing it's been like <laughs> it's been like ugh, like 
the energy I get is just like, I don't want to do that again. Okay, so many of them are maybe healing addictions when it comes to sex, sex addictions, things like that. Since being with you, whatever energy you have filled them with, it's giving them clarity. I feel like it is breaking open this desire to really have something more meaningful and experience something more meaningful. And now that you guys are at a distance, I feel like this is a divine feminine who is showing up in this self-love energy. Okay, um, I feel like also too you might have really shown this masculine a lot of your sexual energy a lot of that sensual side of you to the point where it might have even scared them because they could have been dealing with a lot of this addiction energy um, but i feel like since being apart from them you may also be in the celibate energy okay you continue to carry yourself in this very just kind of modest high light celibate energy where they didn't they didn't think that for a second when you were being intimate with them and i feel like because you really kind of blasted that sensual energy open because you felt safe with them because they were dealing with this in the past it really triggered them is this all it is oh my god this divine feminine is triggering the worst parts of me when it comes to this codependency they thought that you were going to tame the side of them and instead you really set it on fire <laughs> but i feel like it was because they needed to be aware of that okay but you know you know i'm gonna close it off by saying you know this distance this time apart i feel like a lot of your masculines are really shifting from just being all over the place to kind of settling their energy down and you are a major trigger for this at this time okay somebody really feeling a lot of intimacy a lot of sensuality towards you but it's in this way that's really grounding like kind of protective um you know wanting to take their time move slowly not wanting to make any mistakes if they do reconnect with you that's why i think they really want this holiday time because um again no interruptions they don't want anybody else's input they don't want anybody else influencing you i'm hearing like a week or two alone is all they're asking for okay so i don't know get ready for it is all i can say i love you guys take it easy and i'll catch you in the next one okay bye guys